Hello, we are going over the 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. You are watching this on the Holagoy channel of YouTube. I'm a Holagoy, and you can be one too. 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. Prophecy number 48. David's Seed. We find this prophecy in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 11, chapter 17, verse 11. When your days are over, and you go to be with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, one of your own sons, and I will establish his kingdom. We find this, the fulfillment of this prophecy in the Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. A record of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Also in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. So we see in the book of First Chronicles that Nathan is again speaking with David. He is... Tell, giving David prophetic words concerning what will happen to him after he dies. Nathan tells him, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, one of your own sons, and I will establish his kingdom. Nathan, God is speaking through Nathan the prophet that God is going to raise up one of the offspring of David, one of his own sons, and he will establish his kingdom. One of David's sons will be raised up, and that person's kingdom will be established. Now we know literally this referred to Solomon. Nathan was speaking of Solomon here. Solomon was the son of David. He succeeded David. He was raised up. He was one of David's own sons. He was raised up. To succeed David and God established his kingdom. We also know that the Messiah is going to come from the royal lineage of David. That's that's what this the, the prophecy here, according to the Hope of Israel Baptist Mission, would be referring to Jesus. In Matthew we see that the records, the, the lineage, Matthew chapter 1, the lineage of Jesus is traced through his stepfather, Joseph. Joseph was betrothed. He was, for all intents and purposes, married to Mary. Before they came together in a way that produces children, Mary was pregnant obviously not from Joseph. Joseph was going to discreetly divorce her. An angel came, said, do not do this. Keep the child. Keep Mary. Joseph listened to the angel. As far as everybody was concerned, during the life of Jesus, as far as everyone was concerned, Joseph was the father of Jesus. He maintained Mary's dignity, and he maintained Jesus' dignity. This, dig this maintenance of the illusionary dignity that Joseph allowed for Jesus is evidenced in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, when the two blind men call out, referring to Jesus as the son of David. 
as far as they knew, Jesus was the son of Joseph, hence the son of David. That was commonly understood at that time. Only those of us who had the opportunity, the, the, the um, looking back at the story through the eyes of the gospel accounts, do we realize that in fact Joseph was not the father of Jesus, and therefore we can understand the mistake being made by these two blind men. The next prophecy we'll be looking at, 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verses 12 and 13, to reign on David's throne forever. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.